Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me here in the sunshine in Miami, Florida. We're at Iconic The Collection and today we're going to experience this. I'm catching up with Barry Skolnick and this is one of his pride and joys, the Maserati MC12 Vergione Corsa from Edo Competition. This is one of the original 50 MC12s except it has basically been converted to be like one of the 12 Corsa race cars that did GT1 racing. This car, the engine has been enlarged and it makes 840 horsepower and just look at it sitting here we're going to be taking off the roof getting it fired up it's also got a straight pipe exhaust system on the v12 and then we're going to take it out onto the roads yes this behold the mc12 from edo competition let's check it out get it started up catch up with barry and take it on out Firstly, let me take you for a walk around to explain what exactly this car is about. A bit of a one-off, and you will not believe when we hop on board and check the odometer quite how many miles this car has actually driven. Out of all of the cars in Barry's private garage, here at Iconic the Collection, over 100 in total, this is one that is particularly intriguing to me to find out more about today. So this, well to rewind I guess, the MC12 was the sister car to Ferrari's Enzo. It shared the chassis, it shared the 6-litre naturally aspirated V12, it shared the six-speed sequential F1 gearbox, except Maserati basically introduced initially 25 cars and then eventually a follow-up of 25 more as a car that could be homologated for FIA GT1 racing. So the car was built, well, three race cars were built. They went racing in GT1. They actually made 12 Corsa cars as well. And then they made the 50 road cars, the majority of which were pearlescent white with some blue accents around. This was one of those, except now look at it. It has basically been transformed into a Corsa by Edo competition. It's got the extended front, it's got the canards and flicks around the side, the aggressive louvres, it's got the gigantic wing sitting taller at the back, it's got the snorkel up on the roof, it's got more aggression to the diffuser, it also has some major major upgrades to the engine. In fact the 6 litre V12 is now a 6.3 making 840 horsepower over the standard 632. Over 200 horsepower more. This car has I think pretty much been around the world, it's raced at the Nürburgring, it's been to Canada and now it's here down in Florida. It is insane. Look at the colours of it, the pearlescent orange metallic paintwork in the sunshine out here. Everything about it is extraordinary and I happen to have the key here as well. So um, let's hop on board. We're going to be taking the roof panel off as well in just a moment because that's something a lot of people don't realise that with the Maserati MC12s road cars or the Corsa race cars you can actually lift off this roof panel with two latches just underneath on either side, lifts up, take it on out and drive open topped and with the sound of this that's going to be booming out behind that is going to be fairly mega inside though it is still road car it is comfortable it has these nicely quilted seats the embroidery of course are there on the headrests all these touches that Edo competition made to it which are well quite frankly insane and inside here yes of course it's a car that's 15 20 years old nearly but we can turn the key and check this out check out the trip reading on the dashboard when this comes to life 81,311 kilometers, 50,000 miles this car has driven. That number is, well, quite frankly, bonkers, but that's because it's been used properly. I think I should press this button, the start button, to bring this into life. Are you ready? Should we take a listen to this? Hear the sound of the FC12 from Edo Competition. <laughs> It's quite something. That noise, I mean, this is listening. Listen to that, barely, barely, barely making any flips out of it. Oh my word, oh my word, you can see how this works. So we're gonna take this off, which is basically a case of releasing these two latches, one on each side, and then, um, yes, probably meet up with Barry and uh, go on out and experience this sound. All I know is that this is going to be mental. We are joined right now then by Barry. How are you? Great. Excellent. It's a lovely day. This is an Brilliant. insane car. Thank but you. number one, we need to take the roof off. Okay, let's go. Which I was just explaining a little bit. You kind of have these two latches. Have you done this before? Uh, I've done it. It's been a while. So you unclip it at the front, pull it down. Got it? And you lift it up at the front and then slide it forwards, release the pins. Oh, there we go. And that is it. 
That is basically the whole thing. Should I take it? Sure, you got it? Yep, right. I've got it. There we go. That's actually really light. It's really light, very simple. That's how you take the roof off. And then look, there's a convertible race car. <laughs> That's awesome. That smile says everything. Yes. I'm going to delicately put this down here. Oh, wow. On the grass. This is mega. This is absolutely mega. So, um, should we fire it up and, and take it out again and go see what this is all about? Let's do it. I'm ready for another ride. Let's take a listen from the outside to the startup of this.
like it has come straight out of a GT1 racetrack onto tarmac, driving around my happy. <laughs> Awesome experience in this car. Absolutely epic. It's always fun to get out in these, these cars. Yeah, well, it's what they're for, and thank you for being someone that drives them. Wow. Okay, then. Let's climb on out. Carefully does it. Woo. That was uh, that was quite something. We're going to take the car back inside. I'll show you the engine, show you up front as well, and we'll pop the roof back on. But let's first hear it coming back into life. <laughs> sound of that in here it just echoes and booms oh my god whoa quite something quite something to open up the engine bay there are these levers just here give a pull of that and it pops now the kind of interesting thing about this i'm going to come around to the other side is to lift it up you need to be incredibly careful it's very because, close but it, it'll yes it, it's... you don't want to trap your fingers there and then you get this view you've got these struts which lock well, look at that Maserati V12. 
Look at the suspension system, the gearbox down there at the back. And um, yes, those very, very straight pipes that exit out at the back. <laughs> they are very straight. Yeah, yeah, that is, that is stunning. The way the air comes in through the snorkel Actually, here. Actually, maybe we'll leave it open and let it cool down. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And the other thing we need to do is open up the front because to plug the car into the, uh, the charger, you actually have to take off the front clamp. So you've got these clasps which all unlatch and uh, then that's going to be lifted up and then we'll be able to do it. There's a little catch at the side, just like that. This lifts up literally like that and inside, you can see the front suspension as well, the trickle charger connects onto the battery plug. And it is literally that simple. Yep, that's it. Done. And then the cover will go back down. This is where you have to very delicately get it into place. You guys have got this. Perfect. Oh, yeah, oh. On your side. There you go. You're in. And down. Simple. And we got a latch. Each. Done. Finito. Ah, other than the roof, we should put the roof back on. The roof panel we've brought in just here. And we'll get that put back into place as well. And then uh, we'll be done. Again, just like we did earlier, the reverse. Down this end, just get the catch down. Yeah, perfect. Drops down. Simple. Done. <laughs> that easy. <laughs> Very simple. Wow, well that was mega. Thank Great you. Ride. Thank you, Barry. That was awesome. That was awesome too. We enjoyed, I also enjoyed it. Well, there we have it. The one-off Edo Competition Vergione Corsa Maserati MC12 here at Iconic The Collection. And um, yeah, a bit speechless from that experience. This car is a legendary machine and an epic, epic, epic thing to have been able to go out to get a feel for. Big thanks to Barry. Be sure to check out the links down below Barry's page plus the Iconic Collection as well. That though will leave me with very fond memories. Thank you very much for watching. As always, guys, that's it for this time with the 918 moving, I think, in emo behind me. And I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.